Hi guys, hello and welcome to Inceptor Gaming and today this is Cold Waters South China Sea Campaign Part 4. Okay, so skipping past the news. Okay, so there's re replenishment uh, tankers and tenders in the area. A uh, small enemy force, including one or two of those ships, is expected to sail uh, for, the, for the area of the Yellow Sea. Okay. So that's what we're up to now. Quick check of the loadout. Yep, I'm happy with that loadout. Let's head on away. Uh, straight away been bumped already. Uh, as I've said in the previous videos, whenever I get bumped uh, by non-mission targets, I will be speeding up the video for those instances. Our new Rig ship for ultra quiet. I don't know if it's a bug or whatever, but um, certainly on this particular 2000 campaign, I do get bumped a lot more than I did on the, uh, the other campaigns. So I don't know if that's a glitch in the system or whatever if somebody's able to comment and let me know if that is actually a problem with the game uh, please drop that in the comments below that would be appreciated okay looks like I've got a couple of surface contacts here yep let's come up to periscope depth see if we can get an accurate range on them definitely two warships judging by the sonars Just having to see if I can see a visual. I'm not sure if that's a warship though. No, I think that's uh, a merchant, so I better be careful not to fire on that one. No, it's definitely a merchant or maybe a troll or something like that. I don't want to commit a war crime. Yeah, a merchant is in the way, a little trawler. So I've got to be very careful what I fire at here. Okay, first torpedo away. I'm just checking my classifications as well. So second torpedo is on the way now. Okay. First torpedo active. And there we go. First target gone. Okay, moving on to seconds and second active torpedo. Uh, let's take that guy out as well, get him gone. Oh, they use the countermeasure as always. <laughs> Fooled my torpedo for a little while, but it is well guarded. Okay, I also went deep earlier as well just to uh, give me some distance Tons between me and the maker bearing two, four, three. Okay, so I'm nice and deep. Those are gone. I should be well away from enemy enemy uh, torpedoes, or at least have time to evade if there's anything coming for me. Con sonar just, master three yeah. is classified as merchant. Just thought I'd reclassify that track. Okay, so targets are gone. I know it wasn't my mission. I got bumped uh, straight away again. Been bumped this time by a submarine. By the looks of things. So uh, re-equip my loadout. Con sonar new contact bearing zero two four. So yet again, I've uh, speeded up time on this particular level here. Um, I think it's kind of ridiculous how often I do get bumped in this game. And it seems to happen a lot more on this campaign than on the earlier campaigns I played already. Let's just do my classifications. Uh, so yeah, two surface contacts that are merchants uh, and one submarine, which I believe to be a song class. Uh, just going to take my boat nice and deep. So at least if it does fire at me, uh, I shall be um, out of range of its torpedoes. They won't, their seekers won't find me. Okay, the floor's coming to me a bit steep there. I do believe it's a little bit shallower at the bottom than I realised. Not too much, just a little bit, so I'm going to level off early. Ah, hold on, hold on. That is not a song class submarine. I believe that is an old Ming or Romeo. Yep, it's actually a Romeo class, so reclassify that because otherwise that will affect the uh, firing solution if you've got the wrong classification. Okay, my torpedo's gone active and there it goes up up towards the uh, the old submarine, the old diesel. Target is acquired. See my torpedo there in distance and I can also make out two enemy torpedoes coming in my direction. 
but at such a shallow depth they will never find me. Okay, it's dropped a countermeasure, trying to avoid my submarine. At any moment now. Close Con, it. sonar, lost contact. Sierra, one. Last bearing, zero. Four, six. Contact breaking up. And bang, there you go. There's the submarine uh, destroyed. Okay, so it's just enemy weapons near me. No other uh, enemy vessels. So, bit of time compression here just to get those two torpedoes to go past me. Oh, there they go behind me there. And they've just exploded from running out of fuel. So that are those gone. Okay, that is completed. Now moving on to get back to my mission objective, which I'm trying to do, despite the game telling me to get back to my objective. Okay, speed up time again for you guys. Okay, I was nearly at the LSC, being bumped for a third time. Okay. What have I been bumped by this time? There's nothing on my sonar. Enemy vessels nearby. I'm going to come up to periscope depth in case it's a surface contact. If it's not, then I, it must be a, uh, su a submarine. Okay, there is a contact there. Okay, there's a little, I know, I thought it was a little torpedo, but good job, good job I checked. It's actually a trawler. Okay, uh, vessels are still nearby. Going to go deep to 100, well, deeper to 150 feet. Sometimes your running depth also affects the uh, the sonar picture you get as well. I did detect also uh, another target, hence the fact uh, I, I fired off a torpedo. Oh, there it is. Although I'm hoping my torpedo doesn't go active and hit the uh, trawler. Okay, there we go. So yeah, managed to avoid the trawler and sink the enemy submarine. Which I believe was a hand class. So without further ado, let's escape the torpedoes that have inevitably been fired at me. And uh, try and continue with the mission. Okay, just decided to do just a quick save there as well. Just in case of any issues later on, any glitches. Um, so I have experienced a couple of glitches. Avoid the enemy submarines, but I don't think I'm going to be able to. Okay, so I've been bumped by this one submarine. Probably going, ship for ultra quiet. probably going to get bumped straight away by the other one afterwards as well, which is very annoying. But what can I do? That is the, what the game is, I'm afraid. Make turns for two knots, maneuvering eye. Come right to three zero two helm eye. Con sonar new contact bearing two seven four designated Sierra one. Okay, so there's the contacts, which I believe is a submarine. Although I have had missions before where uh, it tells you, you know, you've run into a submarine on the map, but for some reason it was a surface vessel or something like that. Like Con sonar Sierra one is classified as submerged submarine. Make depth one five zero feet dive by. It is very shallow water here, which I don't like, but uh, 150 feet, yeah, give me a bit room, bit more room to manoeuvre than uh, being up near the surface. Come left to 272, two, helm I. Because if you're up near the surface, the only way you can go is down, but I can't go down very far. At least, if 150 feet, I'll be uh, kind of in the middle, and if I'm kind of in the, kind of in the middle, at least then I, just, you know, I've got a bit of room above me and below me, so... Just kind of helps a bit. Con, helm, steady course. Okay, he's gone active. And he's an alpha. So quite Two, formidable. Two, one. Aye, sir. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra, one. Weapon acquired, inevitably he's fired at me, so... Uh, Con, sonar, launch transient from Sierra, one. So push up speed to 15 knots. I don't want to go too fast because I do want to keep the wire guide on the torpedo. Con maneuvering, making turns for one 
five knots. Once you go over fifteen knots, you break the torpedo wire. So. Noisemaker bearing two, four, six. I'm hoping those torpedoes won't arm uh, until they pass me. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, as you see, I'm not viewing my torpedo directly just because <laughs> I want to keep an eye on those uh, torpedoes coming at me there. I'm probably going to turn in a bit as well. Yeah, I think I'm going to turn Con, in. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. So my torpedo's acquired. Con sonar, noise maker, bearing two, three, seven. And just hope their torpedoes don't acquire me. Con sonar, torpedo in oh, the water. I've been torpedo acquired by a water. torpedo bearing myself. One, nine, seven. Okay, I lost track of my own torpedo there because uh, <laughs> I'm busy trying to evade torpedoes myself. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. This is one of those moments when you need your eyes everywhere. You've got to be able to see where the enemy is, where your weapons are, and where their weapons are as well. Con, fire control, weapon countermeasure. Con, sonar, noise maker, okay. bearing, two, He's three, coming for me. Four. I'm going to change Con my depth. Sonar. We are cavitating. Hopefully evade that torpedo. He says, not looking likely, I might get hit on this one. Con, fire, con, sonar, torpedo in the oh, water, torpedo in the water, bearing, two, four, eight. I managed to evade that one, breach the surface, but I managed to evade that torpedo for the time being. Although, on uh, evading the torpedo, I've actually broken the uh, the wire guide. So, yep, my torpedo is no longer wire guided by me, it is just doing its own thing now. Uh, so, therefore, I pushed up my speed to uh, maximum because... Uh, yeah, there's no point staying at 15 knots now. Uh, I'm not guiding a torpedo. Uh, I'm trying to run from torpedoes myself. Um, one, five, zero feet, dive, dive. Also, I've lost track of where my own torpedo is, so with him making evasive maneuvers, it's possible it's coming for me as well. Yep, I've definitely Down, got one torpedo four. coming at me. That's his one. Trying to turn to evade. Con, knuckle formed. <clears throat> Keep making knuckles as well in between uh, setting off the other counter measure. Dive at one, five, zero feet, dive by. Con, knuckle formed. <clears throat> now get another counter measure away because uh, two of those torpedoes are getting quite close now. Con, knuckle formed. And keep making the knuckles. And he just seems to be slipping away nicely while I've got torpedoes coming at me. Knuckle formed. So, not good. <clears throat> Con, knuckle formed. Formed. Yeah, plenty of knuckles. As I said a few times now, I'm, I'm definitely glad I'm playing with the Seawolf on this campaign so far, uh, because a lot of the levels I'm doing are in shallow water. Gun, and shallow water I don't like to fight in, as I keep saying, but also this is the fastest US boat in the game as well. So you've got the best opportunity uh, to evade enemy torpedoes at times like this, because that bit of extra speed Passing does help. Feet. Whereas something like, say, the Sturgeon or the Narwhal only uh, travels at 25 formed. knots maximum, which is not that great Helm when you're in right a bit two, of an emergency two, like two, I am here. Nine, nine. Helm, I. Extra 10 knots does make a difference. I've also just noticed, actually, Passing 200 feet. he is slipping away quite nicely because one of the torpedoes uh, coming at formed. me is my own. And that's concerning because my own torpedo has Passing a range of 4,000 yards uh, on the seeker. Well, he just slips away at the bottom of the screen there. So, what I'm going to try and do, I'm going. Oh, he's on the surface, so he's only making uh, a low speed, 17 knots, looking at my TMA there. I'm making 35 knots. Therefore, I am going to head underneath him and let my own torpedo require him. And hopefully, that'll be the end of that. Con, knuckle formed. Just 
doing the knuckle or two on, on, on the knuckle way. Formed. And then when my torpedo turns again to reacquire, I shall eventually be within the range of him, so we'll pick him up as well. On, torpedo room, tube one ready. And then the torpedo will have to decide, is it going for me uh, or formed. is it going for him? So he thought he was clever in turning my torpedo against me, but any minute now, I should have uh, sent it back towards him. And as he's doing 17 knots, because he's on the surface, I'm making 35. Once my seeker finds him, I can get out of dodge. There we go. My torpedo has reacquired him and is leaving me alone. Knuckle formed. I'm still making the odd knuckle though, just in case he drops a countermeasure and uh, sends it back towards me, which I don't want. Gun, knuckle formed. Yeah, it's closing on on him. Ring ship for ultra and there we go, there's the alpha gun. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Well, I've deliberately kept this mission um, on the normal speed here, without um, speeding this little bit of video up, just because I thought this would be an interesting insight for you guys of how to evade torpedoes uh, in shallow water. You know, it's not easy, but it's not exactly impossible either. I mean, I have played this game quite a lot. I think I've got something like uh, in the region of 1,500 hours. Yeah, 1,500 hours or something on the game now, some, or more, can't remember exactly. Um, but yeah, that's the end of him. And with a bit of luck, I believe there's no other enemies or torpedoes coming at me anymore. Okay, so that's that done. So I leave combat now. Excellent initiative, yes, thank you for that. I do know who was in the mission objective. However, unfortunately, as always in this game, it keeps chastising you and telling you off for uh, not sticking to your mission objective. Well, I'm sorry, you keep throwing things in my way. I've got to go do something about it, haven't I? So, yeah, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit frustrating like that at times, you know. Excellent initiative. Yes, wasn't your mission objective. I know. It wasn't my fault. I had no choice. Literally, I had no choice. I wasn't able to do anything about it. Anyway, so here I am, uh, back in my bit of the Yellow Sea. Searching around, trying to hide from getting bumped again by more enemy submarines, because I don't want that. I've had a few of them now. It's time to get back to the mission in general, if the game will let me. Ah, here we go. This is what I'm waiting for. Fantastic. Or at least, I hope it's what I'm waiting for. I can see it's a surface contact. Let's hope it's the right surface contact. Okay, quick check on my loader. Sonar lost contact. Last bearing two, two, five. Contact faded. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Come right to two, two. Quick shift for ultra quiet. Con sonar, no longer Look, cavitating. Surface contacts by the uh, display there. By the broadband, I believe they're surface vessels. Yep. So one frigate. Con sonar new contact bearing two zero one okay. designated Sierra oh, there's two. A, a merchant ship to sink. Destroyer. Con sonar new contact bearing one eight eight designated Sierra three. Con sonar new contact bearing one six five designated Sierra four. Okay, so it looks so far like uh, three enemy warships and one merchant. So that shouldn't be too hard then, to be fair. Con sonar Sierra four is classified as escort. Con sonar Sierra three is classified as escort.
Okay, I'm going to go for my missiles, missiles on this one. Um, because the much I know is a big vessel anyway. Comes with something like 20,000 tons. Uh, so it's quite a large vessel. Okay. My well, visual contacts are closer Con than dive usual. At okay. Four, five, eight, dive by. Normally, on these missions so far, uh, all my targets have been well out of visual range. So that's quite close, quite unusual to see them so close. So I'm just going to laze them just to get an accurate uh, distance. But yes, I'm thinking definitely of taking out the merchant with a uh, tomahawk anyway. But I might uh, take out three with missiles if I can. Doesn't always work because uh, you know the escorts do tend to have anti-air capability, but I might as well give it a go. Shoot two three. Okay, Tom right. Harpoon for one of the smaller vessels. Shoot two seven. Aye, sir. Shoot right, two one. Torpedo on the one close to me. Uh, another Aye, torpedo sir. under the escort, so... Nope, enemy missiles being fired at me. Or rockets that drop torpedoes. Con sonar lost contact. Master, two. Last bearing, two. Zero, five. Contact breaking okay, up. Okay, well there's the merchant gone, so that's something. At least, at least that's mission complete, as long as I can survive. Okay, there's a warship. Ah, oh, it's hit, but it's not, it's not destroyed. Okay. I'm going to have to finish off. Oh, I've got aircraft near me as well now. Make turns for one, zero, not maneuvering Just up. speed up a little bit. Gun, maneuver. Come left to one, seven, one, helm, I. I'll try to fire off my decoy as well. Hopefully, uh, the aircraft will find the decoy instead of myself. Just going to re reload these tubes quickly. Torpedo torpedoes have been dropped, probably from uh, one of those warships uh, with the rockets. Con sonar, torpedo in the water. Torpedo in the water torpedo after the water. me. Bearing three, zero, four. I'm still wire guiding those, Con so making turns I'm going to try. Five knots. I keep speed to 15 knots whilst evading using ballast control. Con sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing two, nine, six. Yeah, ballast control is often very effective to evade torpedoes because it keeps you on a sort of on a flat trajectory, but you're still going up and down. Passing 200 feet. And that can be often be enough for the torpedoes just to just to miss you because you're changing depth uh, quicker than they can. First Con, torpedo's locked on. Weapon acquired. Oh, another torpedo coming for me. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water. That's my way three, and six, zero. Going to change my depth again. So I've got three Con, torpedoes sonar, near me. Lost contact. Master one. Last bearing two. Five. Five. Contact breaking up. Okay, so that's one of the escort vessels gone. And um, oops. My, my remaining wire guided torpedo is, is looks like it's homing in on uh, on a vessel's already destroyed, so I'll have to manually turn it in the general direction now of uh, where I think one of the other warships are. Passing 100 <laughs> Look at this, three torpedoes coming for me, oh dear, that's not good. Uh, I'm going to have to do something about this, come on. Countermeasure away. There's one straight under me, second one straight under me possibly. Yeah, I might breach, uh, breach the surface in a minute, possibly. Yep, there we go. Conning towers over the surface, but well, I don't care right now. Uh, time to get out of the way of these torpedoes. Switching to active search. I'm definitely going to do a lot more evasion uh, on, the, on this campaign than earlier campaigns I've played. Uh, fighting in shallow water is not easy, even with uh, the best submarine uh, that, that, that there is available. I think one of my torpedoes has gone after uh, an already sunk target again. I'm going to have to manually adjust that whilst keeping uh, their torpedoes away from me. Here we go, another countermeasure away. 
changing my depth also at the same time. Con sonar, no longer cavitating. Con, torpedo room, tube seven ready. Okay, there's another one coming for me. Where is that one? Okay, decrease my depth. Con, sonar. Rather increase Torpedo my depth, in I should say. Torpedo in the water. Bearing. Two, one, three. Is this going to make contact, possibly? I hope not. Counter measure away. Is it enough? Oh, that was close. <laughs> Passing 200 feet. That was, uh, that was much closer than for comfort than Go I would have liked. Two, zero, seven, seven. Helm, I. I change my ballast uh, uh, to positive because I'm coming down to the bottom a bit too fast. Well, that's one torpedo that's run out of fuel, that's good. Uh, there's another one there not too far away as well. Hopefully, I can get away from that. There we go. My wild guard torpedo has found a target. Yeah, one of their torpedoes is still coming after me, I think. Two, two, yeah. six. Aye, sir. Con, sonar, torpedo in the water, torpedo in the water, bearing, two, eight, six. Okay, drop a countermeasure, okay, that's already affecting that one. Change my ballast to positive. Come left to zero, nine, two, helm, I. Passing 200 feet. I've also sent off uh, my other decoy there, my remaining decoy in the tube. Con sonar lost contact. Master three. Last bearing one nine three. Contact breaking up. I notice also there's an aircraft uh, dropped sonar boy in the distance there as well behind me. Con sonar, we are cavitating. Passing 100 feet. Oh, let's load up these empty tubes. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Con, sonar, switching to passive search. Passing 100 feet. Yeah, the name of the game when evading torpedoes is keep changing your depth all the time. Con sonar, no longer uh, a benefit as well of using the um, the ballast controls is because it keeps you in a in a flat uh, sort of trajectory. It can be easier to evade actually than just you know pointing the nose up or pointing Con, pointing control, the bow up or pointing acquired. the bow down of the boat. Con fire control weapon countermeasure home passing two hundred feet because in a way you present less of a target to the enemy torpedo coming in. Whereas if you're at an angle, and the, uh, the torpedo is coming at you, it's got, bearing. One, it's got five, a greater, um, Con, less than 50 feet a greater chance of hitting you because it has more surface area in its detection zone. Rig ship for ultra quiet. Con, fire control, weapon acquired. Okay, I've gone back to ultra quiet Passing because after this, feet. I want to sneak away. Sonar. Noise maker okay. bearing. One, five, I believe that's six. the final target gone. Phew, oh, that, was, that was a tough mission. I enjoyed it, but that was tough. Yeah, that was quite tough. All enemies sunk. Mission objective complete. And the Silver Star this time. Okay. Conspicuous gallantry. Okay, so thank you very much indeed for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and a subscribe. And also, for those of you recently who've been watching part one, thank you very much indeed. Your support is greatly appreciated. Uh, within a couple of days, I'll see something like a, a thousand views and uh, well over 100 likes uh, on part one of the 2000 campaign within the last couple of days. Thank you very much, guys. I really do appreciate you. Thank you.